Russian style combat. It is a reality based survival system of Russian special forces. The roots of the system date back to the 10th century, developed by Cossacks, Russian warriors. The concept of the system is to utilize natural flow of energy and efficiency of motion within time and space applying modern science like geometry, physics, and psychology, which makes it adaptable for military, police, security, or civilian application. Life consists of constant change or evolution. Energy is the driving force, the unseen power within all beings. Utilizing the mind, is the driving force of our existence. Since the beginning of time as we know it, humans have adapted and survived. Self-preservation or personal survival instincts are instilled within us from birth. Through knowledge and experience, Russian style has developed into a system of combat that is practical and simple to learn at any age of physical ability. It is a system of survival in extreme situations utilizing reserve human abilities. An interesting concept is that the system contains no techniques. Theory itself allows the student to develop his natural abilities and adapt to any situation, not just in combat, but in every aspect of life. Since our body consists of about 60% water, and as we know, water is able to flow into any space and also change its state from soft to hard. By slowing down the speed of molecules by freezing into ice. This concept is applied to the functions of human body through mental concentration, physical relaxation and breathing exercises developing sensitivity and reflexes, directing the natural motion in response to the situation. Joint gymnastic exercises develop coordination, balance and strength. Lower acrobatics are designed for safe falling as well as movement on the ground at a lower plane. Internal wave energy is used to control the joints and muscles independently through tension and relaxation, generating power, allowing the freedom of motion and energy conservation during combat. Evasion and defensive tactics blend with an opponent's energy for an immediate counter-defense application. Strikes, punches and kicks are delivered with linear, circular or continuous motion targeted towards the pressure points and vital zones. Joint locks, takedowns and throws are applied through the leverage control of an opponent. Psychological training exercises and meditation decreases the stress level before, during and after the confrontation. The most practical method of defense is to avoid the situation completely by preventing any physical contact with an attacker. Since the brain is the source of our actions, not just in combat, but in daily life as well. Our body's external system or sensory perception is supported with five senses like sight, hearing, taste, smell and touch, providing the information about the outside world. Internal perception tells us what's going on in our bodies. We can sense where our limbs are, whether we're sitting or standing, the sense of hunger, sleep or being tired. No contact combat teaches how to increase the awareness of your own senses as well as affect the senses of your attacker. 
through various applications of external and internal energy techniques, an opponent's timing, balance, clear visibility are affected through the concept of space and time. The technical application behind the Russian low contact combat draws its knowledge from historical experience of Russian martial arts and secret developments of science in the area of reserve psycho abilities and psychology aspect of the human in extreme situations. To the naked eye of the observer, Seeing people fall without visible physical force of the instructor seems like a theater or a game. But knowing the fact that participants see each other for the first time, as well as seeing their instructor for the first time, realize that they are under psychological or psychophysical control. The receptors in the brain sense the energy of the opponent at the distance. Just as you saw on the film, no one touched an attacker. Many centuries ago, Russian warriors noticed that the human mind is more efficient when the state of consciousness would change. Application of the mental transformation in combat, reduced time in training and sharply increased fighting elements in Russian warriors, where they could last for several days in continuous battle. It is necessary to develop and utilize some conscious abilities of the mind. Correlation between consciousness and subconsciousness is quite difficult to grasp. Brain is the control center of our being. Development of each hemisphere as well as specific parts of the brain will increase the psychophysical abilities of the individual. Scientific methods blending with traditional approach merge the system of training used by the special forces. This method of psychophysical training allows drawing the resources of subconsciousness using various images to enter into the combat mode as well as improvement of personal health issues. Utilizing self-control techniques, an individual is able to improve their character, become emotionally balanced, achieving positive results in personal and professional sides of life. This system is continually upgraded, discovering new physical, psychological, and psychophysical abilities of the practitioner. Since I personally started training in Asian martial arts some 30 years ago, I hold great respect for the culture and wisdom of my teachers. In my opinion, life is one big lesson. By keeping an open mind, as well as positive and realistic outlook on things, an individual evolves by learning every moment of his or her existence. combat situation, style of any martial art is replaced with time and space, or in other words, a moment of survival. Sistema Spetsnaz is adaptable to any martial art improving the skills of the individual, especially in close combat application.